Onwards we go! Oh, hello here. It's a poster for me! It's my latest stage performance, darlings. A tragic tale of two star-loved crossers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Oh, well, now. Ooh. Are you ready for my lovely singing voice, people? Oh, that human. Could it be? <laughs> Don't I look fabulous, darling? My one true love? You look bored, darling. I want this to be a stellar performance, so if you won't give me it your all, then I'll skip ahead for the audience's sake. Perform? Oh, go ahead and perform. Go ahead. Understood. Let's knock him dead! It's like, yes, yeah, so I went through this with the first run through, but that doesn't mean I won't want to run through it again. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my love! Please run away! Monster King forbids your stay. Humans must live far apart, even if it breaks my heart. They'll put you in the dungeon. It'll suck. And then you'll die a lot. Really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. So sad it's happening. <laughs> so sad. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, toodles! <laughs> oh, I love that part. Well, oh no! Whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? Why, yes, darling, I think we did. Now that's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great! Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you'd better hurry, because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire! <laughs> My poor love! I am so filled with grief I can't stop laughing! Good luck, darling! Oh, my love has fallen down! Now in tears, we all will drown. I'm gonna stand right here. Color tiles, make them a fool. If only they still knew the rules. Well, that was a sorry try. Now let's watch them fry. <laughs> ah, this is the way to solve it. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Whoop. Here comes the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh, my. Any minute now. <coughs> Ring. Watch out. I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. No, no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys! That... that's right! Come on, Metaton! 
Give up already! You'll never be able to defeat us! Not as long as we work together! Your puzzle's over! Now go home and leave us alone! Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster! Well, darling! Well, well, well! Welly, well, well! Well, welly, well, well! Well, well, welly! You never stepped on a green tile! And now you're going to die! <laughs> uh, apparently, you know, it just doesn't do anything no matter what you do. I still think it's funny, though. So, let's check Metatone out. I'm gonna yell at him. You yell! Nothing happens. This is it, darling! Say goodbye! Oh. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it! Uh, hey! This seems bad, but don't worry! There, there's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Your phone's act menu is glowing. Yellow. There we go. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye! Whoa. Now press Z. And fire with the power of love! Oh. Keep doing it over and over again. <laughs> well, okay. Oh! Oh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc., etc. Whatever. See ya. <laughs> Ring. L looks like you beat him. You, you did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. Dot, dot, dot. All thanks to you. Uh, what? Oh no, I mean, you were the one that doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Uh, um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Uh, sure, darling, what do you have? B before I met you, I d didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I f felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything without... without ending up letting everyone down. B but... Guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyways, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this! Okay, onwards we go! Towards victory! So, let's see here. Dun 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 dun! Oh, look who it is, darlings! By the way, can I get some ice cream? Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here! These two fellas bought all my ice cream! I've actually sold out of everything! Uh, sorry! Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Do you see my face, darling? Do you see how much I enjoy that smile of yours? I think I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, wait, it was that there. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Action waves. Nice. Oh, there he is. Let's see if I remember his name. Hey, hey! Do you remember my name? Did you? Yes, I do remember your name. It was Flames Flamesy McFlamia. What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? Darlings, you didn't even ask me if I remember what the name is I remember. I call him Flamey McFlame Flame. That's what I'm gonna call him. Oh hey! We're like taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like don't tell Undyne about this, okay? Uh, you know what? Maybe I will. He seems happy. Good. Speaking of which... Let's go ahead and tell him. Ring, ring. What? RGO1 and RGO2 are slacking off? Come on! They should be killing you right now. Not that I want them to, I mean. 
<laughs> but they can at least try, you know? <laughs> oh, I just love that. I almost captured you! Where's my ice cream? <laughs> I would love to definitely give him some ice cream. Oh yeah, I just wanted to be able to talk with them about that. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and talk to Sans. Hey, I've heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, sure. Great, thanks for treating me. <laughs> Over here, I know a shortcut. You know, there's plenty of shortcuts. <laughs> well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, buddo. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here you've already got food, drinks, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Uh, we need to progress the story, it is. Uh. Eh, yeah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there, watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for, uh, for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock, knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes is a very bad joke. <laughs> then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I didn't know you could yodel. <laughs> wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come back by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door, <laughs> it rules. Ah. <laughs> One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? No, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her? You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything. Buddy? You'd be dead. Where you stand. Well, that was dark. Dark and scary. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Well, I died a couple of times. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Okay. Alright, so... Let's see. I guess I'm just going to look at things. It's a platoon of ficuses. Hello there. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up. So I kept walking in anyways. 
now I'm just kind of consuming dew off of this ficus. Well, that's kind of funny. Okay, so let's see. Whoa. Talk to this guy. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. Oh, they wouldn't remember this guy? I remember him. <laughs> I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzles. Well, let's see here. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son. He wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny at all. He tells us awful puns. It's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand. He couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Well, I've seen him. But I guess you didn't want to know. Once more, more second. Blub, blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Okay. So, let me go ahead and go in here. And let's see. Oh. Ring. Huh? Who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well. We can't worry about that now. Click. Okay, so before I guess I go in here, I gotta give one last call here. Heading into the core? Hmm. The core is a huge tower of electric energy, so I don't think your phone will work through it. No, no! What will you do without us? You have something you have to do, right? Well, even without words, we'll be with you in spirit, okay? Yeah, you can't get rid of us! We're counting on you, so don't mess it up. Just make sure about that. Anything else I gotta say? We're not going to say goodbye to you just yet. Okay. It's my family. My family was mean to me. I didn't do anything to them. I tried to say hello, and they said hello in my long family tradition of beating each other over the head with sharp metal objects. It's a very love tradition, I gotta say. Well, I'm thinking about it. Give me one second. You know what? I got all this stuff. I think the only thing I need to do is go back and get my uh, souls, because, yeah. Where, where, where did I die again? Did anyone see where I died? I don't see my stuff.